Hello again. It's time for that exciting part of Poti's The Big Pick, where we look at films born from books. From big home video script to screen series, we have one flew over the cuckoo's nest for you today. Ken Kesey wrote the book in 1959 and it was published in 1962. It was made into a film in 1975 by the legendary Czech director Milos Forman. The film won five Academy Awards and is as relevant today as it was then. In a climate of rebellion against an oppressive bureaucracy and an insistence upon individual rights, freedom and self-expression. Randall Patrick Murphy arrives in the Oregon State Mental Hospital from prison. Guilty of violence and gambling, he has also been charged with statutory You've rape. Got at least five arrests for assault. Yeah. What can you tell me about that? Five fights, huh? Rocky Marciano's got 40 and he's a millionaire. That's true. That is true. With his wickedly arching eyebrows and his slow, seductive smile, he Don't is all I arrogance really and charisma. R.P. Murphy soon gets comfortable in his new environment and with his new housemates the acutes and the chronics, as the inmates of the hospital are classified. Virile and overactive, R.P. Murphy can't bear to see them lead such a passive existence. You understand? You see these other people? These are the real ones. These are real people here. What do you do, Chess? Hit or sit? Um... That's 23 up, Cheswick. All right, Tabor, you're busted. Give me this. 23. Huh? Hit. Hit me. Shut up! Tabor. Come on. Nine. I'm next, Tabor. You're not next. Huh? Hit me. Ace. Hit me. While the gang slowly warm up to him, the ice in the autocratic and domineering nurse Ratched's eyes doesn't thaw. She is that kind of evil woman who will not resort to harsh disciplinary methods but will smother and destroy in quietly insidious ways. But Murphy is not about to sit quiet and fit into the system. He itches to defy the pale auger in her starched white uniform. And whether it be on the basketball court or whether it be outrageous bets and dares, Murphy is determined to shake everyone out of their drug stupor and put a spring in their step. Okay, I want to see the hands. Come on. Which one of you nuts has got any guts? All right. Sit. I only count nine votes, Mr. McMurphy. <laughs> he only counts nine. <laughs> only nine. It's a landslide. <laughs> <laughs> there are 18 patients on this ward, Mr. McMurphy. And you have to have a majority to change ward policy. Murphy loses the vote by one, but there's no dampening his spirits. TV or no TV, he will watch the World Series, and his infectious energy will draw the others in. Kofax. Kofax kicks. He delivers. It's up the middle. It's a base hit. Richardson is rounding first. He's going for second. The ball's in the deep right center. Davis it over in the corner, cuts the ball off. Here comes the throw, which is around him. He goes into the second. He's tied. He's in there. He's safe. It's a double. He's in there, Martin. You look at Richardson. He's on second base. Kovacs is in big fucking trouble. Big trouble, baby. All right. Here's Crash the next batter. Crash looks in. Kovacs. Kovacs gets the signs from Roseboro. He kicks once. He pumps. He fires. It's a strike. Kovacs' curveball is stabbing off like a fucking firecracker. All right. Here he comes with the next pitch. Crash swings. It's a long yeah. fly ball. The deep left center. Jack Nicholson's performance in the 133-minute film is electrifying, as is Louise Fletcher's. He, alive and virile, she, cold and cruel with her snake-like, emotionless, sibilant tones. The contrast between the two couldn't be more marked. One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest is one of the greatest American films of all times. The book by Ken Kesey from which it is adapted 
was included by Time magazine in its 100 best English language novels from 1923 to 2005. The story was also adapted into a Broadway play by Dale Wasserman in 1963. Lots more from and about the film after a short break only on Porthy's The Big Pick.